Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Friday Night Sports. Stan Garavo sitting with Laurie DuPont at the desk and uh, a school we talked about before the break, E.D. White, that you're obviously familiar with, uh, being from the Thibodeau area and Patterson, who, you know, you know Tommy Minton well and you know what kind of program they run over there. And, uh, and I, coach, I, I coach Tommy at Thibodeau High. That's so right. He's one of Way my, one of my ex, ex players. Uh, have you ever had to play against a Hillier kid? And we played against both of them. We played against two Hilliards. Uh, the Ike Hilliard was, was the last one that we played against that played with the wide receiver for, right. for the NFL. Right. And uh, we were successful against Patterson. And that's all I can tell you. <laughs> you don't well, get successful too many against the Hilliards. The funny Patterson thing is, is Ike is, you know, he was a wide receiver. And then you have Dalton, who was a running back, but he was compact. Kenny's not compact. Kenny looks like a truck when he's uh, coming out there. This is the battle of 6-3-A. These are the two top teams. Of course, Catholic High and New Iberia trying to make some noise in that district, too. We went out to Pelche Stadium out on the campus of E.D. White and got some highlights of this thing. Let's take a look at it. This is from the second quarter starting right here. E.D. White had just scored. They kicked down to Antoine Todd. Not much of a return. And on this next play, Nick Nolan, the quarterback for... Patterson throws downfield, but it's intercepted by Jake Becknell. So E.D. White breaks up the potential drive of Patterson. Grant Chasson then on the next play, the <coughs> fine young quarterback for E.D. White hands it off to Tyler Thibodeau, who's basically on the end of the round. Tyler is a wide receiver, and he kind of gets clothesline right there by Josh Navarre. And they try a field goal right before half, and unfortunately for E.D. White, it's off to the left. So second half starts. And E.D. White kicks off deep to Patterson. Jadrick Lede, I hope I said his name right. He returns it. Not much of a return, but gets it back upfield for Patterson. And unfortunately, they have a miscue snap over the head. And although E.D. White looks like they got a great shot of getting the ball back, Kenny Hilliard falls on it for Patterson. Then on the next play, he takes off around left end, and he's a load and kind of gets to the sideline, but gets forced out of, down, out of bounds, excuse me. Obviously, E.D. White did a pretty good job with him. Grant Chasson rolling out to his left, the keeper all the way, and then he throws it out there to Tyler Thibodeau, who makes one heck of a run after the catch, gets it down deep into Patterson territory. Unfortunately, we don't have the scoring plays in this, but we'll try and set this up as best as we possibly can for you. E.D. White kicked a field goal with 57 seconds left in the game. They kick off to Patterson. Patterson moves the ball down, and with virtually no time on the clock, they complete a pass to Kenny Hilliard. He runs 34 yards down the field, and it looks like he's going to get in the end zone, and he's tackled by an E.D. White defender, and the ball is ruled out at the one-yard line with the clock showing 0-0-0-0. Zero, 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 zero. E.D. White gets the win, 17 to 14. No other way to, to talk about this game except for those people got their money's worth who were at that game. So E.D. White takes a commanding lead in that district. Uh, score at the bottom, uh, East St. John 14, East Ascension 3. Not a big deal to anybody in our neck of the woods, but we threw that in there to you. Must have been a heck of a game. Yeah, well, East St. John's been averaging over 40 points a game, so yeah. evidently East Ascension played pretty good against yeah, Coach yeah, Dotry. And, and East Ascension was a school that's down, but as you see the scores this year, it looks like they're getting it back just a little bit. I actually played Ellender early in the year, and uh, E.D. White, you were mentioning to me at the break that class of 69, uh, actually, they won a state championship against Franklinton, I think it right. was. Right, Franklinton right. against 21-7. What, what grade were you in at that time? I was or, a freshman in college when they won. You, so that was right after, huh? And, uh, so was, you left and those guys won it all the next they year. They won it back to back. They won it back to back. Very good. So, and, I, and I know you want to get out there and meet those guys a little bit later tonight, as I'm sure they're getting together. So congratulations to E.D. White. There is some, you know, we've heard conflicts of where Hilliard fell when that, in that last play of the game. But you know what? I don't think you go back and change those things what's done is done and obviously if they stopped Patterson to this point of only giving up 14 points at that point they obviously did a really good that job. was a great win for Kyle Costa there's no doubt about it no e. White and, and they always come up and have a great game plan against Patterson yeah and that's a game a couple of weeks ago Chris Bajeron defensive coordinator was here and he kind of took the blame for the loss to Bruley 
And tonight we're going to find out that Bruley is a pretty good football team because uh, they handed it to one of our local teams. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But if we can, another big game in our area, and this involved teams from District 8-5A. And, and a kind of sad note, young man from HL Bourgeois was uh, killed in a, terrific, uh, a horrific excuse me, accident. There you see Tony Odimo, the principal of HL Bourgeois, and Joe Riley as they present the jersey of Dominique Hansey to his mother. This was right before the third quarter started and uh, obviously an emotional occasion two weeks ago. He was killed in a wreck and the school still kind of uh, mourning over that and uh, looks like the entire fan base there was uh, really supportive of what happened and there's Joe Raleigh going to the rest of the family and here they come out for the second half of this game and unfortunately not a whole lot of highlights for HL Bourgeois because South Lafouche must be the real deal and there you see they wore the number 20 and honor him on the helmets but so did South Lafouche a very classy thing by Terry Farmer as they put that on and here's a guy and you saw South Lafouche earlier coach DuPont we'll talk about him in a little while but Rusty Bourne, who we know has a lot of speed, a track guy who hadn't played football before, comes on, does a great job, gets in the end zone. And the extra point is good by Eric Serrano. A little swing pass to Bourne again. Boy, he does a good job of running with the football. And once he gets in the open field, he's got wheels. He's tough to catch. Another touchdown for the Tarpons. And as you can see, with most of the score like this, the score was pretty lopsided. Cameron Espange. The quarterback for South Lafouche, who also holds on extra points, takes it around right in. He gets in for a touchdown. Big crowd for South Lafouche. That is the away side at Tom B. Smith Stadium. Cameron Espons rolling out. Not much of a gain right here. And boy, I tell you what, Tom B. Smith Stadium and South Terrebonne Stadium, Coach, I don't know how it was tonight, but that stayed at the stadiums in the two parish schools here are, are getting really cut up bad. Yeah, our, little, our little freshman team played Wednesday at Terrebonne and you know, the field was not in good shape. And yeah. South Terrebonne tonight was not in good shape neither, but uh, I mean the weather's been so bad the whole year. Yeah, and, both teams got to play. All, of, all yeah. the fields, so, I That's mean, right. to That's even right. play on it is, 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 is uh, remarkable. Nice job by Adam Schicksnyder <laughs> as he falls on the ball on that little pooch kick right there. And Bourne comes into your living room again as he runs it over from about five yards out. Extra point by Eric Serrano as he's wearing those pink shoes, I assume, in honor of uh, breast cancer. This looks like Bourne's going for a touchdown again. And obviously, if you're looking at the film, you think it is. But if you were at the game, you know that there was a penalty on this play. So that didn't happen. But on the very next play, Justin Galjor gets the ball on the pitch. Cameron Esponge does a good job, and they score from that far out on the very next play. That's got to be demoralizing. Final score of this game, they go on to win handily. As you see, the special teams from HL Bourgeois had a few miscues and a, another touchdown right there. Number 33, Grady Fagan runs it in for the Tarpons. A complete runaway, South Lafouche. 49, HL Bourgeois 12, South Lafouche the only undefeated team in District 8, 5A, and once again, Dominique Hansey as those kids celebrate his life, and uh, certainly a sad thing when you have those type situations. I don't know in all your years coaching coming across something like that where no, you lost a you, kid. You don't wish that on nobody, and, and my heart and prayers go out to his family. And uh, on the opposite side, uh, Terry Farmer at South Lafouche, he got those guys going the right direction. Yeah, they're I mean, they, right. they, uh, they become a special football team. I agree. And once it, once it's <laughs> like snowball, once it starts rolling, uh, evidently it uh, gets bigger and bigger. And they got it going right now, 49 to 6. Douglas, 18. Fisher, 14. A lot of people in the area interested with Douglas' scores because they pick up power points along the way. And I don't think anybody in the area plays Fisher, so Douglas winning actually is going to help out a couple of teams. We need to take another commercial break when we come back. Another big game out in Central Lafouche. Thibodeau, excuse me, Central Lafouche taking on Terrebonne High School. I tell you, I have trouble with the Terrebonnes and the Thibodeaux, but they Tigers, so I'm just going to say Tigers. Terrebonne High School in Central Lafouche. Big game. We'll look at that after this timeout. <laughs> 